Okay, we wanna look at the blood vessels that are associated with the heart. This means that these are the blood vessels that are going to take blood towards the heart or away from the heart. The definition of an artery is that it's going to carry blood away from the heart. The definition of a vein is that it carries blood towards the heart. Okay, so we're gonna kinda of go um, along with the pathway of blood flow through the heart. First of all, blood is gonna enter your right atrium here and the two blood vessels that carry blood to the right atrium are the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. So the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava take blood into the right atrium. The right atrium is gonna pump the blood to the right ventricle. The right ventricle will pump the blood out of the heart towards the lungs, so it's going to be a pulmonary artery. This is also known as the pulmonary trunk. Okay, the pulmonary trunk takes blood towards the lungs and it's going to branch so that it can go to the left lung and the right lung. So this is the left pulmonary artery and this is the right pulmonary artery. When blood is oxygenated in the lungs, it's going to come back towards the heart through the pulmonary veins. These are the left pulmonary veins and over here, if you turn the heart just a little bit, you see the right pulmonary veins. The left pulmonary veins and the right pulmonary veins are going to empty into the left atrium. The left atrium is going to pump the blood to the left ventricle and the left ventricle is going to pump the blood, remember way up here through your aortic semilunar valve, it's going to go to the aorta so it can go to the rest of the body. The next ones are the coronary blood vessels. Coronary blood vessels are going to take the blood to the myocardium. Do you remember that the myocardium is the middle layer of the heart and that's actually, myo means muscle, so that's actually the working part of the heart. So that's what um, needs a lot of oxygen. You have two coronary arteries that branch off of the aorta. The first one here, you might want to um, open this flap just a little bit. You see this is the right coronary artery. This is the right side of the heart. It branches off of the aorta and it serves the right side of the heart. So this is the right coronary artery. And if you follow it around, just want you to see how it will go around the back of the heart. And we'll talk about that more in just a second because it's going to run into another artery. Okay. We want to also know your right marginal artery here. The right marginal artery would be on the right side of the heart and you can see that it serves your right ventricle. Okay. Over here you have, let's go back to your aorta and on the left side you have the left coronary artery branches off, branching off your aorta but you only see like this much of it, it's only a centimeter on the model here. The reason for that is it branches off of your aorta and it goes underneath the pulmonary trunk so that you're only able to see part of it. Okay, the left pulmonary artery is very short compared to your right coronary artery. It branches right here so that you have one branch that comes down. That is the anterior interventricular artery. Notice that it's on the front side of the heart in between the ventricles. That's what the name means, anterior interventricular um, artery. The other branch circles around the heart and that's called the circumflex artery. So here you have the left coronary artery, which is very short. You have the anterior interventricular artery and the circumflex artery circling around the heart. Now, if you circle around the heart, you notice that you run into your right coronary artery. Where two arteries come together is an anastomosis. So it said that the right coronary artery and the circumflex artery anastomose on the posterior side of the heart. There's actually not a number for it or a specific location. It kind of depends on, you know, the pressure in those two arteries as to exactly where they will anise to most. Okay. We want to look at the veins next. You have two, I mean, we have three um, cardiac veins. Okay. The largest cardiac vein is called the great cardiac vein. It starts here, kind of around the apex. It comes up along your anterior interventricular artery. It circles around the heart along with your circumflex artery, and it empties into the coronary sinus. This is the coronary sinus. Okay. I want to also point out how close the coronary sinus is to the right atrium because it empties the blood into the right atrium so it can be circulated again with the general circulation of the blood. Okay. The next vein, you see this one right here, this blue one right here? This is the middle cardiac vein. It starts around the apex of the heart and it's going to drain blood from the posterior side of the heart, the middle cardiac vein. Okay, the third one, let's look over here, on the right side of the heart, remember we had our right marginal artery, you have this little vein right beside it, this is called the small cardiac vein, it comes up, it circles around the heart, 
beside the right coronary artery and it empties into the coronary sinus also. So all three of your coronary veins are going to empty into the coronary sinus and the coronary sinus takes blood to the right atrium.